Well, the fact that this is all you get in most patterns, you only get the B cup, you don't get the others, then of course you're going to have to alter if you, to, if you need to make it something different. And so as you alter what they have here that they really don't have on any uh, patterns that you buy, any fashion patterns, what they have here is a bust line and it shows how it just goes from the center front over to the apex and then kind of up here. And this line that goes up to the side would be pulled down a little bit as it rounds around the body and as this dart is folded into place. Then it would become kind of a straight line there across the side. Well, what you would have to do, of course, if you are more shapely than this, is you'd have to cut this up. Instead of cutting up this pattern, I'll cut up this uh, copy of it. And uh, where I'd want to cut is just, uh, I'll just cut here at the top of the dart line and cut over to the apex of the bust and over here to the side or to the center. And uh, what I'd want to do is add maybe that extra half inch or whatever I need. And then I'm going to have a bigger dart because remember this dart has to be taken in so that it still fits the back, uh, the side seam. So what I do with that dart is make it all the way from here up to this point where I cut down to uh, the point as it is now and just make a deeper dart here so that it would fit better. At the same time, you're going to have to add this extra width You'd also, or length. You'd also, of course, have to add extra width. And I can do that by just moving this apart and adding half the amount of width here. And I would probably then uh, cut it right here at the apex. I was just marking it. And either cut it out to the arm's eye or cut it all the way up to the shoulder point, whichever you'd prefer. But this would also have to be opened up a little bit so that you add the extra width here. So this is what you do to make it larger, to make it more shapely for you if you need that. Then uh, sometimes these darts don't stay these straight line shapes that you've seen so far. Sometimes they're more shapely. Sometimes you just take that dart and uh, if you wanted this very fitted, for instance, in the bodice, perhaps you would actually stitch that dart like this, kind of a curve of this sort, so that it would really shape in and be completely form-fitting. A sundress, a strapless dress, yes, it would be shaped like that so it's completely form-fitting.